know, one of my biggest pet peeves in dentistry is the lack of a relationship between the ceramist and a clinician. I mean, it's especially true, especially in aesthetics. And, and you know, we should have that relationship. It should be a peer relationship and, a, and what I call a communicative relationship versus just directive. I think too many times, and, and we've all done this, and, and, and most of us typically will do it with posterior restorations or non-aesthetic cases where we just write directions, directive, directive, write a prescription to the lab, give me a crown on this tooth, this shape. And then we get it back and it matches and we seat it. And that's the, it's, it's a one-way street. You know, with our aesthetic cases, it should be a communicative relationship where, yeah, I'll still write directions. I'll send it to laboratory. And then as soon as the ceramist gets that information, and we should be on the phone or email or we should be talking about how are we going to take this particular case to an entirely different level. So I can't stress that enough that you need that great relationship. My patient, I can see what they're wearing and how they dress, they take care of themselves, their nails clean, how do they hold their lip when they smile, when they talk, when they're relaxed, and all these things. I don't work with a local ceramist. So he or she does not have the advantage that I do, which means I need to transfer this, all the variables.